Good morning. Look at that blue sky. <laughs> Yay. Hey, Joel. It's so nice out today. How are you today? I'm thinking. Look at the pretty day. Hey, Pierre. How's everybody today? I'm late, but I'm not doing until noon, so I'm not late, late. <laughs> so, usually we're coming from that direction, but we are already on 10th Street because I had to drop off my laundry and go to the bank. But in a minute you'll be, uh, I know, right? <laughs> Am I ever early? I don't think so. For a Broadway show, you have to be. Hi, Alex. Broadway shows you have to be early because once they drop the curtain, once they pull the curtain, you can't get in. Hey, GR. Good day. Hi, Amy. Um, I'm really old. <laughs> I like everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not due until noon, so it's okay. I work noon to eight on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hi, some people joined. I missed your name. Sorry. That's an interesting band. Hi, Deflection. Well, I'm old for that kind of question, I guess. <laughs> I do like everybody. Almost, unless they're not <laughs> who's there oh Amy hi how are you out how are you oh it's so light I can't see hi Anthony oh thank you deflection hey Alex welcome back it's like shorts weather but I'm not wearing shorts who's there oh Amy hi Hi, Gianni. Hi, big dog. I'm sorry if I miss your name or make you say it wrong because it's hard to see in, the, in that bright light. I'm on. Joe, hi, how are you? Oh, really, Lincoln? Oh, cool. This is a great dim sum but restaurant, by the way. Yum. So now this should be familiar, this street. We're heading up to 23rd Street and walking through Union Square Park. Hey, Arfa. Oh, they're doing landscaping. New dirt. There's a subway down there. And right there is the post office from Seinfeld. Gianni. Oh, look, there's somebody hanging out on the roof. Must be a supervisor. Or just a regular postal officer getting out into the sun. You found... Oh, nice. Congratulations. Hey, Golden. New apartments are always exciting. You still don't know the neighborhood. You still have to find out where everything is. Oh, with toys. <laughs> dogs are so funny. I never laughed so much as when I had dogs. They can't help it. They're funny. Hey, Derek. Whatever they do, they're like just silly and funny. I control the mail. <laughs> Nowadays, it's just controlling mostly junk mail. A new place in June. That's exciting, but Amy. I have had the same apartment for ever. Last time I moved, I was actually young. <laughs> so I'm really very familiar with my neighborhood. Two bedroom, nice. Hi, Anthony. By the way, last long scope, somebody gave me superstars or whatever they're called, super hearts. So thank you, whoever that was. I didn't see who it was. Hey, Bal, she's here at Silsjo. 
stuff. Big rooms are nice, especially if you can fit more than a bed in there. Hi, Anthony. It's so like summer out right now. Although that wind feels like it's off the ocean, so it has that cool to it. And up here is Union Square, we're about to get to. Bowls of goodness. I guess I could cross here. No, I can't see. 875, two bedrooms. That's amazing price. Wow. In my neighborhood, it's $3,000 for an efficiency studio. I can't read what people are saying. I'm sorry, I have to get in the shade. I'll keep saying it. It's one of the flaws of Periscope. You can't read it if it's very bright. Your husband told you. William started. Oh, yeah, on Union Square. Walking scopes. I like walking scopes. Oh, you're welcome. I enjoy showing New York a lot. A lot. Hey, corn. Yeah, if I can't if I can't see what you guys are saying, it's good to talk to each other. <laughs> but I will show you these pretty little flowers. And here we're coming up to the park. To the park, to the park. Ooh, that's a lot of wind. Hey dear. Union Square Park is where people used to gather and still gather if they're going to do a protest. But it used to be the unions that would gather here. Now it's whoever. That's why it's called Union Square Park. There was actually a Broadway play that I saw somebody, a friend in, and it was a live, a real event that happened where on the theater stage they were in, on Broadway and they were doing a play about a, a strike and the actors just started yelling at the end of the play they go strike, strike, strike and they actually all walked out the actors and the whole audience followed them because they were all people who were actually on a strike and they all walked down to Union Square and they got their demands I forget what group it was Hey Axel, Axel Rose Look, here's this crystal sculpture. It lights up at night, but it's pink right now. I mean, it's pink at night too, but with lights in it. Literally dropped the mic. Did I drop the mic? No, I still have my mic. Hey, Belf. This nut place has been supposedly coming for over a year now. Nuts.com, cash you later, unless it's just an ad. Oh, the strike. Yeah. Yes, exactly. They dropped the mic. You can look it up. It's some play. It was some actual play in the early 1900s, I think. Flowers. insane. The flowers are so amazing. Alright, this is Union Square. People just can come sit. This grass will be open to people sitting on it once the, once the season's in full. Drop the megaphone. <laughs> I think they were even back in the days, I don't even know if they had megaphones. It might have been the 1800s. flowers. Those are like some variant of daffodils. Look, they're like they're like furry daffodils or something. Hey, Belf. So, and the cherry blossoms are in apple blossom. That's an apple blossom. Trees are in red, red blooms. And we're going to walk through the art park. Sometimes it's a farmer's market. See, that's a regular daffodil. Of course. Hey, J-Bomb. Tulips. 
I have to take off my sweater though. It's really hot out. So hold on, let me find a place I can set my bag. Oh yeah, if you have pets, people don't always want you to rent there. Because pets can mess up a place. All right, I'm just resting. See, I even have a coat because I'm working till eight and I just know late at night, even though it's a beautiful day out, it's gonna, I might need a jacket coming home. So, and I have two sweaters, one over my shoulders, a black one, and then I have my turquoise one. It's kind of like a jacket. So I just have to get this organized and then I can keep going. Yeah, usually they give, they make you pay a deposit. I have pets, but um, I have pet. I have a cat. I used to have dogs and a cat. And I didn't pay a deposit because I moved in so long ago. So here's the art. There used to be tons of artists that came here, but then they made a restriction on how many people could be in the park. That's pretty. It's Manhattan. It's African art. It's nice if your landlord doesn't charge that extra fee, but usually they do. I'm sorry. Okay, Joel, thanks for joining. How many years? A long time. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give away my age too much. Here, look at these stuffed animals that are rats and pigeons. Do not feed the pigeons, they're already stuffed. <laughs> I didn't hear, um, yeah, I could be your, all of yours, grandmothers. I promise you, almost all. Uh, but I don't mind being old. I did a lot of fun things in my life, so. I don't look back and think, oh, I wish when I was young I did, uh, because I pretty much did everything that I thought I would want to do. I haven't gone to see Machu Picchu yet. I, I threw up a GoFundMe site to send me to Machu Picchu and I'd scope from there, but nobody, nobody funded me. <laughs> so I took it down. <laughs> Machu Picchu I'd like to go see. <coughs> but I've seen the pyramids in Egypt, which were incredible. Jerry Springer, 11 to 12, channel 11. Why do I know that? Sad. It's unscripted TV. Uh, what did she think? I would love to see it. You have to climb a lot, right? That's the reason why I have to go before I get too old. You've been to Machu Picchu? What's it like? Do you have to climb? Peru would be amazing. It's really far though and the airplane is really expensive so that's why I can't afford to go. I have a vacation coming. Um, oh really? It's scary because you're hot, way up on the edge of the mountain, right? I have a vacation end of May. So I don't know if I'm going to decide to spend money and go somewhere exotic or save money and go to Cape Cod. I really, really should go to Cape Cod. <sighs> I should do that. I should do that and not spend money. It's going to be hot. Yay! I'm so happy when it gets hot. Even though my air conditioner doesn't really work very well at home. I'm on the first floor, so the condenser gets clogged almost the minute I buy a new one. Um, I still like it hot. If you say, oops, you might fall 8,000 8, feet down. I know. No railings. I know. Because, you know, nobody's going to sue in Peru if you fall off a mountain. 
the Saratoga Saratoga Springs. Oh, it's pretty up there. I was there once. I didn't ever go to the springs though. Like sit in the hot waters. There's a place in Turkey you can sit and little tiny fish eat all the dead skin off your body. <laughs> Not that I've been to Turkey, but I had a Turkish dog, so I learned a lot about Turkey. So we're sold out. Oh, congratulations. You know, it's funny. I have a lot of friends who over the years, you know, played a lot of music. It's a very hard field to get noticed in. So it's great that the Sawyer Fredericks is doing well. Hey, Muse. Hey, Jennifer. Hello, anybody. If I missed your name or if I missed anything you said, I'm sorry. There's the subway. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for sharing. That's nice. I think I've got oh, like this. I think I went past 2,600 followers. You did? Well, that's the thing. You have to have promotion and everybody helping out promoting you. Look at that puppy. Oh, great, great fluffy dog. Anytime. Anytime you call me, I drop what I do. You are my best friend, and we got some shit to shoot. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, really? Because you were advertising too much? Welcome, Utah. <laughs> they all want money, yeah. Money makes the world go round. I was looking at like opening an LLC. And it's like, oh, it's only this 149 for a year. And then you're like answering all the questions. You're like, for this, it'll be 320 a year. And I don't know what the final bill was, but I just closed out of it. Oh, they wanted some money. Yeah, everybody. That's ridiculous. You should be able to talk about what you want on your apps. I do. But, oh, there's the Empire State Building. Your doggy, your doggy is so cute. Every dog is so cute. So I'm coming up to where I'm going to sign out. He wants his mama. I just watched um, Chappie. Did you guys see that movie? It's about a robot that becomes cognizant. And he's like, mommy. <laughs> he has a mommy. You didn't change your life for a date? Well, that's good. I can't understand guys who actually like get married and then immediately start cheating. What's the point? This is New York City. Yes, there's the Empire State Building. And I'm about to sign out, so here's me, everybody. turning. Okay. Aw, thank you, Deflection. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Maybe if it's nice out, I'll walk home and do a night scope in reverse of what we just did. But if not, I hope to see you all tomorrow morning if I manage a scope. And um, in the meantime, have a great day. Do everything good. Take care of something on your plate that you've been ignoring and procrastinating about. And come to Miami. I want to go to Miami. My favorite wine. <laughs> Thank you, Jips. Jippin, Jippin. Ugh. Uh oh. All right. See you guys. Ciao. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. A bientôt.